Good morning, welcome to another short how to mini series. It's Dave, CTO DVS. This one was on where to find firmware and download it. So, first place to look is always our website www.dvs.co.uk. From our support and some information on connect how to guides, some forms and procedures, CCTV training installer area. And um, returns form for raising an army, but we've got the download and knowledge area. So if we click on this, it gives us um, some of the tools that we use to freely download. So if you go to this area, you'll see the high vision recommended bitrate chart, bandwidth charts, third party supported IP cameras, some tools, some 4200 PC specs, storage calculator, and so on and so forth. So there's some simple free tools available there for high vision users. But there's also another place that we can go to look for firmware. So if you head over to www.hikevisioneurope.com forward slash portal, it takes you into the European portal where a lot of the firmwares are stored for the baseline products. So if you click on portal, wait for it to load, and then we've got marketing material, product certifications, integration development materials, how to. So if we click on the product firmware because it's the one we're heading to. A lot of helpful information there. So back end is DVRs, MVRs, front end is IP cameras, PTZs, etc. And then you've got some mobile products and then access control and video intercom products. So if we instance go to the back end and we want to update a DVR and NVR, so we've got the encoders and decoder, we'll go to the recorder section. Click on NVR. And there you will find a comprehensive list of all the NVRs, even past ones that are discontinued. But for instance, if we're looking at an I series, uh, 7677 or 96NI series, we click on the link. We head down to the latest, so they're in order, so that oldest to newest. So the newest firmware is the 4.1.10, which is the GUI 4. Click on that link. And then it'll give us the firmware available to download as a zip file and the release note. So if we click on the release note, it will give us some handy information on what that firmware contains. And you can read that note, very suggested to read that update note of any new functions or features they've put in there, along with anything, any fixes they've put in there. Um, and then you can download the firmware and update your product. And again, the same with IP cameras. If we head back. Go to back ends. Then we go to front ends. IPC, IP camera, we've got speed domes, thermals, positioning systems. G1 is the latest two line firmware. Click on that. And there you'll be able to download any of the firmware that relates to the products. So this is non fisheye product there. And this is the three, five, and eight megapixel range. So we can download all of the firmware there. And then there's some read reading notes there uh, if you need to find out a little bit more information. So these are baseline firmwares. They're not anything with customized firmware on there. So if it's customized and it's been done via us, you need to contact our tech support and then we'll be able to help you from there. And sometimes we have some firmware that's not available on the portal um, because we get it first generally, or we've requested it earlier but generally the latest firmware is available there so it might save you some time and effort to go there first and if not double check with our technical support i hope you found that feature nice simple and uh, very helpful we'll see you on another how-to video very shortly thank you for watching